Hi everybody and welcome to the Lake City School Clubhouse YouTube channel. Um, today I thought it'd be fun to try a sewing craft. So we're going to try something a little bit different and I hope that you'll have all the things and if you don't you can ask an adult for help to find them and if you're not comfortable using a needle then you can ask an adult to help you with that too. Okay but I think that you can do it. It's something that I think that you can do. So what we're going to do is we're going to make ta -da, little monsters out of globes. How many of you have, it's warm where you live now. It's not cold where I live anymore. It's warm where I live now. And I think it's probably warm where most of you live too, which means that you're not using your gloves anymore. So if you have a glove somewhere that you're not using anymore, I'm going to show you how to make this fun little soft monster toy to, to play with. Okay. So that's what we're going to do today. So the thing, the supplies that you're going to need, you're going to need gloves, just one or if you want to make more than one then you can have more than one um and then you need some buttons or some felt either or if you don't have buttons that's okay felt will work or craft foam will work too so any of those things will work um the other thing that you're going to need you're going to need some scissors and I'm using a glue gun, a hot glue gun to glue my eyeballs on. I sewed the eyeballs on this one with a needle and thread. So you can sew the eyeballs on, but I'm gonna show you how to glue them on. Now, if you're gonna use a hot glue gun, you're probably gonna need an adult's help. So, just so you know. And then you're gonna need yarn and a, a darning needle. It's a big, long needle like this, okay? Those are the things that you're going to need. So go get your supplies really fast. Okay, do you have your supplies? Are you ready to go? Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to turn our glove inside out, part of our glove, inside out. We don't have to pull all the fingers out, but we do have to pull the thumb out because we're gonna sew the thumb inside the glove, see? There's only four, two arms, two legs, four um, fingers that I'm using on this, on this monster. But on this glove, I have one, two, three, four fingers and one thumb. So I'm gonna make the thumb go away, okay? So I'm gonna turn my thumb inside out and inside out my glove like that and leave the fingers but make sure my thumb is poking all the way out, okay? So now I need my needle and my thread. And I am going to stick my needle right here in, right here in the crook of the thumb, right here, just like that, see? And I'm gonna pull it through not all the way, I'm gonna leave a little bit because I've got to tie a knot right here. So I left a little bit, see that? So now I can tie a knot right here. So I'm gonna tie a knot and knot it off so that it won't pull through, okay? Got it? Okay. So now we've tied a knot, okay? So now we're gonna sew up, up this way up this way. See, all of this right here is going to be inside. See how the, the, the cup isn't on the monster? It's gone. That's because it's inside the monster. Whoa! Kind of crazy, huh? So now we're going to go like this and we're going to go in and out. So I'm going to take my yarn and I'm going to go through and then I'm gonna go back in right by where I came out. Just like that, okay? I'm gonna go in and out, just like that. I'm gonna go back and forth, in and out, up to the top. And when I get up to the top, 
then I'm going to stop because when I get to the top, I've got to turn it and I've got to stuff it. I've got to have a hole to get all the fingers back outside, right? But my needle needs to be back outside my glove. So I need to stick my needle in between, be in between and get my needle out just like that. So now my needle's out. So now I have to turn all of my fingers out and stuff the thumb inside. And then I'm going to turn all of this, the cup of the glove inside like this. Oh, it just went away just like that. See that? Now, is that starting to look like this? <gasps> it is. See that? Okay. But before we sew it closed, we've got to put some something in here to make it stuffed and fold. And what we're going to put in there is cotton. So I have a bunch of cotton in a big bag. And I'm going to put cotton in it. Now, if you don't have cotton, there's lots of other things you can use. You can use pieces of scrap fabric or you can use grocery bags. If you stuff grocery bags inside your monster, then your monster will be nice and soft and full, but he will also make crinkly noises when you play with him. That will be fun, huh? So he'll make crinkly noises and he'll be stuffed. So you can use cotton or paper bags. Okay. I mean, plastic bags. So I did one with cotton. This one, I think it'll be fun to use the grocery bags. So I'm going to use grocery bags to stuff him up. So here we go. I've got to get grocery bags stuffing in all of the fingers all the way down to the tips of the fingers. I got to make sure I get stuffing in all of them. See, I'm stuffing it all the way to the end of the finger. And then I put more in the finger and more in the finger until the fingers get as big as I want them. See, now I've stuffed two already. See how they're crinkly? They crinkle inside him. Okay, now we're gonna sew him up. So now we have our needle and our thread right here. We're just gonna hold this part closed and we're just gonna sew from this side across to that side. So I'm gonna stick my needle in this side and have it come out that side, see that? And then I'm gonna pull it and see that? My thread goes right across there. And then I'm gonna do that again right here right here just like this and I'm gonna keep going until I sew all the way to this end of my club because we're almost done okay when we get done we have to tie a knot and there's a secret way to tie a knot so you take your your yarn and right now it's on this side. So I'm gonna cross it over to this side and I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna sketch it a little bit and I'm gonna pull it through, but I'm not gonna pull all the way. 
I'm going to leave a little loop. See that? I left a little loop right there. And I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to put it through that loop right there. And then I'm going to pull this like this. And I made a knot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my yarn into my monster's head and out somewhere because I want to make sure that my end of my thread gets tucked away somewhere. So this way it'll get tucked away. So I stuck it in and I brought it out. See, now he's hanging by one little thread and I'm gonna snip that thread right there close to him. And now he's all sewed up. See that? And he crinkles. Can you hear me? <laughs> okay. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to glue his eyeballs on. I picked a yellow button and a green button to be his eyeballs. And I'm going to glue them on with my hot glue gun. So I'm going to put some glue on the, on the button where I want it to go. And then I'm going to stick it on the monster where I want it to be. And I have to hold it for a minute. But be careful not to get any of the glue on me because the glue is really hot. Okay, and then I'm going to put the other eye on and I'm going to glue it on and stick it on where I want it to go and hold it for a minute. Let's sing ABCs really quick. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. Now I think our button is done. Now we can let go. And he has two eyes. Look at that. He has two eyes. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, he's pretty fun, huh? Now there's lots of things you can do with this. If you want to, you can use your needle and thread and you go like this and you can leave long strands of hair and tie them off for him. Do you want me to show you how I would do that? I would go like this and put the needle through his head and I would bring it up and see I've got a big long piece back here and I would pull it to about right there I think and right there I would tie it. I would tie it in a knot and then tie it in another knot. And then he has two pieces of hair right there. Look at that. <laughs> and I would do that a couple more times. So he has a couple pieces of hair across his head. And then we need to make him a mouth. Don't you think he needs a mouth? I think he needs a mouth. I have this, this felt. And I could make his eyes out of felt if I didn't want him to have button eyes. But Miss Light has lots of fun buttons in her button jar right here. And so I thought I would use some buttons. But if you don't have any buttons, you can use felt or you can use craft foam. See, look, now he's got a couple pieces of hair. <laughs> I'm going to give him a couple more pieces of hair. But first, I'm going to cut him a mouth. I think that he needs a little, very happy mouth. Ta -da! There's his mouth and I'm gonna glue it on him right there. See? So I'm gonna glue his mouth on him. And now my monster has some hair and a mouth and some eyes. Doesn't he look like fun? Or she, I guess, whatever. So you can do this with whatever color gloves you want. And you can make the eyes whatever you want. You can make them with a mouth or not a mouth. See how this one, it has long skinny legs. And see how this one, it's kind of got fat chubby legs. Well, I hope that you had lots of fun with me crafting today. And I hope that you'll come back again tomorrow and see what we're gonna do tomorrow in our preschool clubhouse. We'll see you, bye.